hello friends so here I came with a new video that is J unit testing with Mokito so here in this example I will try to show you some test scenario how actually it works and uh, this is a quick video so I will try finishing as soon as possible okay so it won't take much time but it will give you a uh, good concept of unit testing with Mokito actually so here I have taken two class data do one service calculation service okay and this is the test class calculation service test This is the form where we will add dependency so I will tell what are the dependency required for this one so only two dependencies three dependencies more than enough for this test scenario okay so what is that three Mokito test engine the Jupyter test engine JUnit engine and JUnit platform runner so test engine is mandatory to run JUnit test okay. so these three dependency required for this project uh, you can get all this dependency on MPN repository so you can open that website mpnrepository.com and just search with this artifact id or group id you will get that one So this is Maven project. So you already know about Maven project, right? But it doesn't matter which build tool you are using. You can go with the Gradle also. But there uh, you have to follow that uh, how to add dependency and for Gradle also you will get the. Uh, dependency from MBN repository so without wasting time I will directly go with this service and do what actually this contains so in this service class we have one method add all and this is do class here we have get data method okay which is returning in data so let's start with this service so we have add all method actually this add all will perform operation on the data that will fetch or that will get from the DO okay or basically from DB so this is the actual data okay one two five eight nine six we can confirm here one two five eight nine six so consider this as a db data because mainly uh, whenever we are calling do method we we'll get data from db itself right this is mock data so don't worry about this one i will tell you what is this okay so here calling get data method I will get this data and will perform operation on that summation operation okay and will return the sum of these integers okay so actually sum will be 31 so it will return 31 right this is the concept this data will be written right so hope you understand service and do work right so service mainly will perform some logic addition logic summation logic and will return the resultant output okay to the caller 
and DO will keep the bunch of records on which service will perform some logic okay. so this much okay right now come to test class so before that I will tell what is unit testing unit testing name itself telling unit unit in the sense a uh, big project or something a uh, big things of which one particular thing that unit right unit in the sense itself one so one test case or one piece of code we are going to test that means this much code we are going to test this logic itself we are going to test this much only so this is unit test because in service class there will there is a chance of having so many logic so many methods will be there right and even not in service in a project several layer controller do service and testing uh, each at a time is it's really a big task right and sometimes we don't want also so that is what unit testing we will test a small piece of code small portion of this code that much only nothing more nothing less okay so this is what unit testing now there are several tools and frameworks available okay we are going we are going with j unit and mokito why mokito in j unit basically uh, we have to create object of the service class do class and then we have to perform the actual test logic like uh, uh, this, this type of condition assets operation right now here in mokito we are not going to create any object okay one dummy object will be created for example uh, if you want to create any object of service also or some uh, do sometimes related other objects also required like data source required or something while passing parameters what in constructing argument something something required right so there there is chance right passing that one dependency this one that one so like that so we don't want all these okay we want simple service object okay so why to create by our own no need to create and uh, this will be created automatically by mokito framework okay so only app delete mock is required on the top of that class of which you want object okay and this inject actually at the rate mock will create object mock object of this data do why mock object we are telling because that is one dummy object okay that is a clone of that original object we can say it's a duplicate object of original object okay now this do required in the service here so we are injecting by calling at the rate inject mocks we are using it will automatically will inject this data move okay <laughs> now we have one method setup and on the top of we have written at the rate before each means before each method we test call it will call this method setup instead of uh, we are doing initialization of the mock okay so this mock object will be created based on this statement okay now this is the actual test method now in this test method we are uh, creating one mock data okay and this is the data set okay what is this i will tell this 
with this statement where we are telling when this DAO object will call this get data method so instead of returning the original DB data you will return what dummy data set okay so this is the dummy data set we have okay so actually what will happen it will call get data will get this data right and uh, but we are telling when we whenever we are calling this get data method instead of returning this original DB data you return our data set that we prepared okay so and this is our expected 24 why because we have written this 24 based on this data dummy data so what actually will happen whenever this service method will call get data actually it should come take this data but now we are telling whenever we will call get data so then return this data means this instead of this actual data get that mocked data 1878 this one 1878 now since we have this data the service this logic will be performed based on this data not on the this actual data okay so this summation operation this logic will be performed on this data okay now so this is our expected 24 now I am saying asset equal is expected now calling this add all method add all will this go to the service class and will call add all and internally it will call get data the moment it is calling get data from here it will return this mocked data okay and it will perform the logic summation logic and will return the actual result that it will try comparing with the expected if both are same then test success or else fail okay it will return will try uh, running the stage case Let's see that here. now see error 0 failure 0 runs 1 test success right whenever test success you will get this green color this bar okay now how test will fail so mainly we written this code to test this portion of this logic whether it working fine or not right while writing the code I did mistake now I want to check okay I don't know whether I written uh, wrong or not but everywhere I am getting wrong 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 or put in the uh, while running the project right so what what is the reason so if I written test code so I will simply run this particular logic okay we'll test that particular logic and we'll get to know oh here is the mistake i wanted to get 24 but coming minus 24 so this is not db db even returning the correct data but where the problem is the problem is there in service so this problem can be recognized okay so this is what the test case now we can recognize the logic that we did that we written wrongly in that test class sorry service class here so this is what okay hope you understood and uh, i will tell i will upload soon some other video to test api calls
like uh, from rest okay how we are giving request to the to the uh, what we call server side and it will fetch data and how to mock the server side uh, objects and how to give request that video i will try uploading soon so if you guys have any problem you can uh, comment in the comment box and can send me messages okay and subscribe this channel to get the latest other videos okay so hope you understood and i'm able to tell or explain each and everything in detail so about this annotations also okay so just go through this test and practice you'll get to know better okay